welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my skincare routine, morning and night. Right before I got ready this morning, I filmed it, and then when I come back home tonight, I will film kind of like a getting on ready with me, um, how I take my makeup off, and then what I do before I go to bed. My skincare routine has changed over the years, and I'm sure this won't be my last skincare video because as I find products I really like, I bring them into my regimen. So the products I use mostly are Obagi, and they can be costly, but you can buy the individual products. I did buy the Obagi kits from my dermatologist in the beginning, um, and I was only allowed to buy them in kits from her she didn't sell like individual pieces and it is an investment um, I did find kits online for like half the cost of my dermatologist one reason being I am in San Francisco and it is a very expensive city so everything is more because rent is so much more so they have to kind of make it up but I did find the same exact kit um, a lot of times products you find online when they're half the cost can be knockoff so what I did is I ordered a brand new kit and I compared it with the kit I got from my dermatologist from um, the stamps to the labels, the packaging, just seeing everything really, you know, I did find that they are. I'm going to link, I've bought from two different websites, so I will link them below. It is buyer beware though, I mean, you, I guess you never really do know what you're going to get. There is something for every budget point. Um, I do like quite a few different products, so I will talk about those in the video. I love my Clarisonic. It has really changed my skincare routine. Um, I used to use it morning and night, and now I just use it at night just because I find that works best for my skin. Um, when I stopped using it in the morning, I actually stopped out of just kind of being lazy. And I noticed that throughout the day, you know, my, my nose wasn't getting dry and neither was my chin, and so it just works best for me that way. Feel free to experiment to see with what your skin works best. I do have normal to dry skin. I used to have pretty dry skin and now since I've really paid attention to my skincare, now my skin is really just kind of normal um, and if I get dry it tends to be right around the cracks of my nose and on my chin and I can sometimes get it around my mouth depending on the time of year. Not that 33 is old but I'm 33, I'll be 34 this year. Um, and compared to the YouTube community, I'm older than a lot of the girls and what works for their skin in their early 20s is not going to be the same thing that works for me. I feel like, again, being proactive is best than being reactive. You know, trying to avoid damage is way better than if you already have it and then you try to fix it. I was talking to my friend Agnes and um, I showed her a picture of my forehead before I started taking good care of my skin and now after and I will show that to you. I mean the pictures are really embarrassing but I feel like I have no shame anymore being on YouTube. So I will show those to you right now and um, the top picture I am wrinkling my forehead like this um, and then the bottom one. I'm not doing that, so keep in mind those wrinkles. But it's just showing you how dull my skin is. I don't really think I have any wrinkles to speak of. Like, if I crouch my forehead up, I do have two right there on my forehead. But um, I take very good care of my skin. I don't have any crow's feet. I do always wear sunglasses when I'm outside, so I'm not. Um, squinting and I also wear SPF every single day which you will see when I get ready this morning. I have quite a few um, cleansing oils and cleansing balms that I really like and some other skincare products I use but I haven't been using them every day so I'm not going to include them um, in this video but I will do a separate video of some skincare products that I really love including Glam Glow masks, which ones I like the best for my type of skin, my Dennis Gross Alpha Beta peels, and a bunch of other things. So that will be in a later video. I was using my Clarisonic morning and night um, when I first got it and when I first started taking really good care of my skin. And after I really got through that tough layer of skin that was built up, now I only use it at night. And I do that because I find it works best. Uh, my skin stays more well hydrated when I only use it one time a day. So my morning skincare routine has really changed. I was like, you know, very regimented doing it morning and night, all the steps, but I found that the less I do in the morning, the better shape my skin is and it doesn't get dry and crack and peeling around my nose and my chin. So I'm going to tell you what I'm currently doing out of everything I've tried that works best. 
did just get out of the shower. When I'm in the shower, I just like wash my face with my hands. I don't use any cleanser um, only because I do have very gentle cleansers but I find it's just like washing your hair it's not good to wash your hair morning and night um, just because unless you have really oily hair because your hair needs those oils and same thing with your skin you don't want to be stripping your skin of all of its natural oils after I get out of the shower and I'm going to prep my skin for makeup the first thing I do is I'm going to go through with a toner toner is very important because it balances the pH of your skin and why that's important is because whatever I put on top after that my skin is going to be able to absorb it better if you just put whatever on your skin even if you have oily skin and you wash it in the morning you need to balance out that pH again so whatever lotions and serums and other things you're putting on your skin your skin can absorb them um, I really love the Obagi whole skincare line um, this is part of their new derm system I will list the products below that I talk about. Obagi can be quite pricey and it is an investment, but it does last you a very long time. And out of everything I've tried, their systems really are my favorite. And I've kind of kind of cherry picked the products that I really like out of that line and I kind of left the rest behind and I have tried them all. So I'm going to use this toner. Um, toner is not like, it shouldn't be like a stinging astringent. It's just supposed to be something that neutralizes your skin pH. So I'm gonna put a little on a cotton pad. You don't wanna use it on cotton balls because cotton balls drink up a lot more of the product and it wastes a lot. So you just go over your face, down your neck. Again, I was using Obagi Nuderm System morning and night and now that I've attained the results that I want, I can just use it at night to maintain it. So if you are going through a skin transformation, you might wanna use it morning and night. For me, right now I'm only using it at night. Now that I have evened out the pH balance of my skin, I'm going to go through with some Obagi and this is their C Serum. This is the 15%. I have had this a while, so the label is kind of dingy. It does last you a very long time, but what a vitamin C serum is going to do, and it doesn't have to be Obagi, it can be really any C serum. You wanna just check the percentage that it has. 15% is a good percentage. Um, this is gonna help give you photoluminous skin, which basically just looks like it's dewy and healthy and radiant. So I'm just going to put, um, literally just like dab it. I'm not even really squeezing the dropper, and I'm going to put that on my face. Your skin can never have too many vitamins. And if I feel like it in the morning also, I will go through with my Obagi. This is their C serum. This is their clarifying serum. So this has something that I'm going to put the word on the bottom of the screen here because I can't pronounce it very well. It's called a hydroquinone, quinone maybe. And what that is, that's a skin lightener. So, I mean, I've been using this for quite some time and I don't, I mean, this is as light as I get. You're not gonna look like Michael Jackson or anything. But I had freckles and things and I still have some up here, which freckles may be cute, but they are sun damage most of the time. So, um, just trying to even those out and this does have some of the C serum in it too so this is just their morning step um, I've kind of combined the new derm system and the clarifying C serum like this is the face wash I use at night and I'll talk about that more in my nighttime skincare routine and then behind me um, when I come into my vanity room because I really do that those steps at the sink then I come into my vanity and I keep all my skincare prep right in this top drawer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Urban Decay B6 spray and I go through with my Caudalil grape water I love this stuff and it lasts a really long time then I'm gonna go through with my MAC Moisture Infusion Serum, and I just put a couple pumps on the back of my hand, and then I just dot that on my face, and I rub it in, and I really wanna focus it, I really wanna focus it around my nose and on my chin, because for me, those are my dry areas. I mean, you do wanna bring it up everywhere, though. And you should always bring your skincare, I believe, up on your eyes as well, or around your eyes, as long as it says on the label it's safe to do that. I don't believe in eye cream, because it's basically like a third of the product for double the price. And if you compare ingredients, they're most of the time exactly the same. 
after I have that moisture down, I'm going to go through with an SPF. You should wear an SPF every single day. It doesn't matter if you're going to the beach or going into your office. Anytime that you're in and out of a car, in and out of a building, you're being exposed to the sun, and the sun is very, very dangerous. I have a few sunscreens that I really enjoy. Depending on how much sun I'm going to get depends on which one of these two I use. This is my Jane Marini, the antioxidant daily face protectant. And this one is tinted so it's flesh colored. Um, I do have another one of these too that's just regular, just like a little white lotion. And I just really enjoy the smell of this. I think it works really well. And uh, this is my Obagi Sun Shield, which I will use if I'm going to the beach, to the park, somewhere where I know I'm going to get, be getting a lot more sun than just in and out of buildings. This is an SPF 50. This is a physical sunblock. This has zinc oxide in it, which basically lays down a layer on your skin that reflects the UVA and UVBs from your skin. This Jean Marini is a chemical sunblock, which means they have ingredients in here that absorb the UVA and UVB rays and turn them into something else that's not harmful. It is Sunday and I am going to be going to the park with my boyfriend so for that I am going to use my Obagi sun shield. Physical sunblocks are more expensive than chemical ones because zinc oxide is a more expensive ingredient so just be aware of that when you're looking at them and you're like whoa why is this one so much more? So I'm going to dot this everywhere and then I also take some and I rub it on the backs of my hands because your hands get exposed to sun too and I feel like people forget that and I you can always tell somebody's age by the, their hands even if they take really good care of their skin you gotta check kind of their neck too on the back of their hands so I'm gonna rub that in and make sure you get everywhere one of the most I go over my eyelids too one of the most important areas that you can get sun damage is actually on your upper lip I even run a little over my lips um, for some reason your upper lip is more susceptible to um, sunspots and burns and all of that good stuff so I really go down I bring it down my neck and you should rub a little on your chest as well and just make sure that rubs in and I give that a little time to absorb into my skin I recently started wearing more like dramatic lip colors and this stuff is really a godsend because you don't want your lips to look like patchy and flaky that's just gross so um, using a lip scrub and and if you watch some of my other videos I explained how you can make one at home too I just really like the scent of this and there's a lush a few blocks from my house that I go into then you want to moisturize your lips and for that I'm using my Christian Dior cream de rose and that is very simple that is what I do in the morning and then I will come back tonight guys after I'm done with my day and I will show you what I do in my nighttime skin routine it is Sunday so I'm going to let you guys go so I can go out and start enjoying the day and I will see you guys later tonight when I come home to take off my makeup bye so my boyfriend and I went to the park today and um, we got home a couple hours ago and we've just kind of been kind of lounging around the house and now I just want to get really comfortable. Um, I was wearing a Lime Crime Velveteen and the color Utopia and I mean those things do not budge. I had to take them off. I use a eye makeup remover on a cotton swab to take them off because otherwise I'm like really really rubbing my lips. Normally if I, when I come home if I just want to take off my lipstick like I'm fumbling on the couch or something. I'll use my MAC um, makeup wipes just because I bought a huge container of them and I don't really care for them to take off my makeup so I use them even if I'm like switching lipsticks or something. But um, that really wasn't getting it off so I used some eye makeup remover. But other than that I haven't messed around with anything else on my makeup. So first thing I do is I take my eyelashes off and that's a pretty regular occurrence because almost every single day I wear eyelashes. Um, I do have one of these little eyelash cases from, um, I got it from House of Lashes, but I've seen them online really just anywhere. What I'm going to do is I grab my eyelashes um, in between my two fingers from the back and I pull towards the front and I take one off and I put them in the case and then I do the same thing on the other one. Now for me, I don't like to be tugging at my eyes. I try to avoid it when at all possible. Um, same thing when I'm taking off like a lip stain or something. So I like to go in first with eye makeup remover and I have two that I really like. Um, this one I got as a sample a while back in one of my Sephora bags and this is called Clinique Take the Day Off um, Makeup Remover. This stuff is amazing. It literally like dissolves anything. And um, for the longest time I was just using this Sonia Cash Cook that I get at um, 
um, Target. It is an oil-based eye makeup remover, and the reason I like this is because oil-based eye makeup removers make it so it literally breaks it right up and you can wipe it right off. A lot of people think they always want oil free because I think they hear those keywords and so they stick on, they like focus on something they're like, oh, oil free, oil free, oil free. Only if your skin is super oily or you have a sensitivity to it. I use cotton pads for everything. The only time I ever use cotton balls is to take off polish. I'm gonna get that wet and what I'm going to do is hold that on my eye for a second. And I like it to break up. I do use, um, you know, waterproof water resistant eyeliner so it's good to just kind of let it break up so then I just wipe like that and then you can see obviously I'm gonna get like a little trail well you just go over it this is taking off my eyeliner I just wipe with one finger as you can see too I don't want to put a lot of pressure on that area then that was from one eye and then I just flip it over and I will get that other side wet so you don't have to use a bunch of them same thing on this side I'm gonna hold it on there for a minute the makeup wipes I love using are the Pond's Luminous Clean. I've tried a million other makeup wipes and I don't like any as much as I like these. Um, just because they're textured and they smell good and I get 30 wipes. Some of them you only get like 25 and I don't know. I just find that these textured ones work the best. And I'm just going to go through and wipe my face down. I mean some people might think this is a pointless step but if you wear a full face of makeup, and even if you don't, I just think it's nice to go through and kind of wipe down that top layer so then when you're going through with your um, Clarisonic or anything else, you can really focus on the, the dirt and other things that are deep in your skin instead of just this top layer. Make sure you go down your neck and anywhere that you do blend your makeup. Since my bathrooms are really small, I'm going to do my skincare regimen right here for you. I'm, I'm just gonna get my Clarisonic wet in the sink and then bring it over. I got um, these, I'll show you. I got them in like a pack of, I think four or five, maybe it was just three, on Amazon and I will link those below. But these are terry cloth um, like spa headbands and the reason I really like these is because they keep my hair out of my face and they keep them, it keeps it dry without having like a, a line on there from like a headband, you know how it can cause a dent. This is my Clarisonic, this is the Mia 2. Um, the difference between the first Mia and this one is that the Mia 2 has two speeds, a high and a low, and you control that with this arrow up on the bottom and then this bottom button is the power button so once you select the speed it will stay on that every time you turn it on and once it's on you can then adjust it from the speed if you want it to go down or up I leave mine on high because that just works for me I've had no reason to go and put it on low when you first use this you are going to experience some like tickling probably on your nose it felt really funny at first it is important to change these brush heads I think it says every three months but I think it's good to do every month if you use this every day um, you can tell because these bristles will start to splay like a toothbrush you know you can tell when it's time to change them I do want to say a few things about the Clarisonic um, first of all this is an ultrasonic it, I thought this whole brush head like rotates but it doesn't it just vibrates and it gets up dirt and debris that's deep down in your skin you are going to go through something that they refer to as the purge phase which is basically when you first start using this your skin could get worse or I mean worse than what it is for about a few weeks. Um, that's only because it's bringing to the surface all of the imperfections and the debris and things that you have deep in your skin. And so until that's out, it's it could start to look like you have a lot of blemishes, but stick with it because nothing in skincare is something overnight. It's not like instant gratification. It's something that you really need to work towards and just bear with it. So as long as you know that, this will be your best friend after a little while. So I did just get this wet in my sink and next I'm gonna put some face wash on this. And for me, um, currently I'm using the Obagi C Serum line, their C Cleansing Gel. Um, I love this face wash. It does give you that photo luminosity to your skin because of all the vitamin C in there. Something else that I use that's not as expensive that I actually loved, I got it as a sample in there and I used it when I ran on my face wash and I was in between, was this refreshing gel cleanser from Clarisonic. I really, really enjoyed this and I will be purchasing this again. I really liked it. It didn't dry my skin out. It didn't leave it feeling tight. Um, typically when your skin is tight, it's because it's dry. 
What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a drop of this face wash on here. You don't need a ton. The way the Clarisonic works is it goes into zones. So when you first turn it on, the first zone is your nose and your mouth area. It will beep, then you move to forehead. Beep, one cheek, beep, other cheek, and then it will turn off. I'll probably fast forward so you don't have to be through the whole process. Done. Now I'm gonna go rinse this off. After you rinse your face, you should always pat it dry. Don't pull on it with the towel. So just like in the morning, <clears throat> after we wash our face, we wanna tone it. So I'm gonna use that same Obagi New Derm toner, just a little bit on a cotton pad again, and I'm going to go over my face, and this is to prime it for everything we're gonna put on it next. Everything I talk about, I'll link below. The Obagi systems, I will link the whole systems, but I'll also link the individual products that I talk about that I use from the systems, because I don't use the entire system anymore. Do you think it's really good to start off with, though, if you are going through a transformation in your skin? Next, number three step. This is called Clear, and this is a skin bleaching and correcting cream. It has that same ingredient as this that we talked about today. I will put right here because I can't say it. Since this is a skin lightener, I wanna keep it away from my eyebrows since I have had permanent cosmetics, and I basically take the smallest little dot. Now the reason I use this skin lightener and corrector is because I lived in Arizona for nine years, and I panned like it was going out of style. I was always super tan. I wanted to be super tan. I went to tanning beds. I laid in the pool. I got freckles. I got sunspots. I used to have a really dark spot on my lip right here from sun damage and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like hair. I used to try to like pluck it out or something but it wasn't. It was from tanning and so um, again I used to use this this calls to use it morning and night but now that I have my skin where I want it it's just maintenance I just use this at night and then their number four step is something that I've cut out it's called exoderm and number five is their blender and they recommend to mix it with a little bit of this cream which again I will list the word down here this is basically the acidic form of vitamin A, and what this does is it keeps your skin turning over. So when you first start using this on your skin, it will be a rough, rough, probably two months. And I know that that seems like really long, but if you have bad skin, two months is really nothing. What they prescribe this for, this is the Obagi brand, but like Retin-A is basically a, a brand name of this cream. Make it in different strengths. I do have it in the weakest strength in the 0.05. Uh, when I tell you I look like I was sloughing off skin like something gross. My nose right here was peeling, all was here was peeling. I really could only use mineral makeup for a while. What really jump started my skin on this is I did something called a perfect peel and my face shed in like sheets. Um, I will show a picture of it right now. And um, my boyfriend was actually really concerned, like, should we get you to the doctor? You don't start peeling that day or the next day. Normally the third, fourth, fifth day is when you start peeling. And basically what that did was reboot my skin. Um, it let all the keratinized dead layers of skin off and then it allowed my new skin to come out. And then just really taking care of that skin and going over, you know, with the deep sun damage I had. Your skin is like, what I compare it to is like a foot, you know? When you wear, wear really uncomfortable shoes all the time or where the shoe rubs your foot you build up like a callus or thicker skin and what that is is your body's way of protecting itself from that uncomfortableness but your face is the same way it builds up a keratinized layer to protect it from you know sun damage and from wind and the environment and pollution and everything else that you subject your skin to daily so you need to really slough off that top layer of skin and exfoliate it to keep that new young skin that's very dewy and luminous that's underneath otherwise that dull skin just lays on top when you do do that though your skin is way more susceptible to like sun damage and things so when I go out if I'm on a patio I have a big floppy hat on or I bring when we go to the park I have sunscreen on and if we're staying out all day we wouldn't watch the blue angels I had an umbrella that I used for shade and that's because I don't want to damage that skin it's like baby skin so if you're interested in um, 
the perfect peel or you know I've had a few chemical peels in my life now um, the perfect peel is a medium level peel I did show you that picture um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have here in California it ran me about $180 it could be cheaper wherever you are again it always depends on where you live um, because the higher the rent, the higher the cost of everything else. I'm going to mix these two. What I do is I take a very small amount of the blender on my finger, just like a very small amount. And I take a little bit of this. I just literally a dot of it in there, if you can see. Like whatever comes up out of there, you just dot your finger in. If you use this like a lotion on your face, you will be very sorry because your skin will hate you. And you just mix the two and then I just dot it. Again, I wanna stay away from where my eyebrows were and really rub this in. I wanna avoid to my nose right here and really like the fold in my chin, but I try to just really avoid my nose because that's where it will start to get really dry. You do wanna bring this down like onto your neck and things too. It works best if you don't have a shirt on. That's a different kind of video, not something we'll be doing here. I don't use this every night anymore. When I was really working on getting my skin to where it was, where I needed it to be, I started trying to use this every day. My skin was just not having it. It was very dry and sensitive. So I went to every other day until my skin got a little accustomed to it. Then I went to every day. Um, this does make your natural skin thinner. Um, that's because it's constantly turning over. Not thinner, like you can't see any like veins and things in my face, but you're not supposed to get your eyebrows waxed or any kind of facial waxing anymore. Um, I did have to start getting my eyebrows threaded. You can pluck them and things. It's just not good to be ripping, you know, it's like baby skin. Something important to know is I did dry my face very well, but they do recommend a lot of times to not put this on until about 30 minutes after you've washed your face to ensure it's completely dry. And the reason is, is because when you have water on your face and you put anything on it, your face absorbs it that much quicker. I don't know why that is, but it, it does do that. And that can increase your um, risk of sensitivity to this product if you've already had problems. Um, again, my face was very dry and I am used to this and I I don't use it. I use it probably once a week, maybe once every other week now, just depending. If you have a blemish or something and you put this on, it will be significantly better by the morning. This is prescription strength up uh, by prescription only. There are some websites that you can buy it off of. Again, it's buyer beware. Um, some insurance plans will cover this. If not, it's about 70 to $80 out of pocket. This is something that is prescribed for people um, typically with acne and this is a uh, wrinkle treatment. Just after I do that, I wanna hydrate my skin and I love this Josie Moran um, Pure Argon Milk. I have been through so many bottles of it, I just can't get enough of it. Why this is very unique is they've basically pressurized, like as you know, oil and water do not mix. They mixed it. They pressurized the oil so much that it is suspended in water. And what that does is it gives you the moisture of water with the protection of oil. Oil is not a moisturizer. Um, typically oil will lock in whatever moisture you have in your skin. So if you were to have severely dry skin, you could put this on and then follow up with one of her oils on top. I don't like that because I feel very greasy and I don't think my skin needs it. What I do is I take one drop, just a drop on this cheek, a drop on my other cheek, drop on my forehead, and then a drop on my chin and I bring that up on my nose. And you do want to bring it down onto your neck to whatever you're doing to your face. And then I just took the clip and everything out of my hair, lip balm off that I put on. And then I'm going to go over my lips with Peter Thomas Roth on wrinkle lip treatment. Um, I really enjoy this. It really helped my lips um, last winter when they were like really dry. They started like peeling in spots. This has a lot of peptides in it and it basically um, is an anti-ager for your lips and it does provide a tingle, kind of like a plumping agent. And I just like this at night. I don't use it in the morning because I feel like it makes my lipstick like ball up or um, get really patchy. That is basically my skincare um, at night. Certain days of the week, if I feel like it, I will use, after I've washed my face, I won't do any of the other steps. I will go through with a Glam Glow mask. Um, this Power Mud is my favorite overall. This turns into a cleansing oil as you remove it from your skin. This one is called the Youth Mud and I actually, 
got a little mini baby size in the checkout line to try um, to see if I really liked it because these are costly. These are $69 and the small little one was $19.99 I believe. So then the other day when I was in Sephora I grabbed another one that was in the checkout line because I was being too cheap to buy the $69 one. I like the smell of this one the best. Um, the white one, this is um, more abrasive though. This feels like granules of sand on your face as you're rubbing it off and it really exfoliates your skin, which is good to do occasionally. For me, not very often. Well, um, a white pot mask is one that's really good for um, clearing your skin of any blemishes. So I don't have that, that one right now because I'm out of it. But that one I'll put on a blemish or something and go to bed actually with it. And then in the morning it's significantly better. And then I do have this Glam Glow. This is the Thirsty Mud. I use this um, the night before I go on flights because typically if you've ever noticed your skin will get blemishes sometimes after flights. That's because the air on planes is really dry and stale and recycled. So it's really good to keep your skin really well hydrated during flights. So if it's on a really long flight, like if I'm going back to Boston or something or New York I will like slather this on my face and then sit on the plane um you can't tell that it's a it doesn't dry like a mud mask it basically smells like coconut this is what it looks like inside it kind of smells like a tanning it just goes on like a lotion actually and then I'll just sit with this on the plane and my skin will be in good condition when I get there um, I've never had a breakout using any of these masks do you have some um, other cleansing oils and things I told you I will get into at a later date? I do have a lot of these um, cleansing balms, which I can talk about too. If you're interested, please leave it in the comment section down below and I'll talk about that. Those go on your face while your face is dry. They basically turn into an oil as you work them on your face and it removes all your makeup. On an exceptionally dry skin day, those are what I prefer. And something that I really, really love, I've added into my skincare regimen, are these um, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels. These are the extra strength formula. As you can see, I'm all gone. I've gone through like three or four of these boxes. I find them well worth the money. Um, this video is already going to be super long so I don't want to get into too many details about other things. If you guys have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section down below and if you'd like me to dive deeper into any of the categories or products that I've discussed please let me know and I will do so. I will do a separate video on the cleansing oils, cleansing balms, and mud masks that I love that I've tried that I feel like really make a difference in your skin instead of going and throwing your hard-earned money away. One thing that's important to note is don't ever get like if you see a um, an eye cream or a face cream that's in a jar like this don't get it because as soon as you open it up you've contaminated it with air and all the ingredients in there will just stop working you need something that is in a pump a squeeze bottle something to get out and if you are using something that's a serum that's in a dropper like this make sure that the container is dark because that stops light from breaking it up and basically ruining what's inside if you guys have any skincare products that you personally love that I haven't mentioned please leave them in the comment section down below so I can give them a try I'm always up to try new things thanks for tuning in as always guys and I'll see you next time bye